They are the two foremost teams in Spanish football, Real Madrid and Barcelona, and they're getting ready to face each other here at the Bernabeu. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, can't wait for this one. No, nor can I, Derek. They don't come any bigger than this, do they? The two giants of Spanish football. The atmosphere is incredible inside this stadium. Let's hope we see a top-class game as well. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, he's their leading goal scorer, mainly because of his movement, which is so clever. It's full of pace and it always threatens the back of defenders. And of course, he's a great finisher. the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the line today is the hard to defend against Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And the game begins. And providing width. A fine block. Excellent defending. Tony Kors. David Alaba. Benzema. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Well, the referee opting for the lenient approach this time. I think it's a great bit of refereeing. Everybody now knows the next foul will be punished. with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Sergio Busquets. And that's an important intervention. Into the advanced position goes Modric. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? <laughs> Playing it short. He's feeling the pressure here. And a goal kick will be next. Mendy. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Vinicius Jr. Now with Benzema. Clean challenge. Must be magnificent. 
magnificent from Mark andre Ter Stegen. Tremendous intuition to win it back. The pie. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. De Jong. Well, the keeper committed himself. Keen to take it short here. Depay. It's a neat move. Dembele. Sergio Busquets. They really look after the ball when they have it. Can he do it? Capable of so much better from that position. Marco Asensio, a very good tackle. Well, Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Aubameyang trying to feed it through. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? Making progress. Benzema. Now Casemiro. Marco Asensio. High quality defending. Pedri. And now with Aubameyang. Sergio Busquets. And Aubameyang now. De Jong. And they could really get at the opposition. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. Well, Frankie de Jong was busy. He was difficult to subdue in the first 45. How would you sum up what you saw from him? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And the game begins. So back in business, the ball moving again, and Real with a bit of work ahead of them. Vinicius Junior. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Marco Asensio waiting to pass. Well, the danger is still there. And problem solved for now. 
This might be ideal for the counter. Casemiro. Real using width to good effect. Well read to ease the pressure. Sergio Busquets. Pedri. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Attacking possibilities for Real. Carvajal. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Substitution for Real Madrid. Now sending it in. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. And they will make the change now. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, the counter chance looks very real. He might be able to carve something out. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and the finish is really well taken, because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. And a second goal for them here. 20 minutes remaining now. Modric. Here's Carvajal. Eder Militao. Tony Kroos. The super tackle and they've won possession. Far from a good pass. Vinicius Junior. Casemiro. On to Benzema. Aiden Azar. Well, oh, that's a super ball over the top. And the challenge crisp and clean. Ten minutes to go then. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Benzema. Modric. Casemiro. Strongly in, PK. Depay. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Course. And he's in. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem.
time for a change then. He's driven in the corner. Not the best clearance. Alaba. Andrej. Cuts it back. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And there goes the final whistle, and disappointment for Real Madrid. Three points squandered. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, one thing we can say about Frankie de Jong, he kept asking questions. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.